Hey guys, this is Army Guy Travels coming at you from Santiago, Dominican Republic. And you've got to start at the most famous monument in the whole city. One of the most famous monuments in this entire country, guys. This is Monumental of the Heroes of the Restoration. And if you guys know, their Independence Day is called Restoration Day. So guys, we're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to check out this awesome city. We're going to go catch a baseball game and then we're going to hang out with the locals. So make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, enjoy. This is Army Guy Travels. This is a massive monument, guys. Absolutely massive tell you guys a little bit about Santiago it is actually the fourth largest city in the Caribbean and the biggest island or the biggest city in the island the Caribbean islands that is not on the coast we've got about 800,000 people here and it sits up on a hill look at this it's just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous but you can see pretty much it's up on the hill so it like spans the whole city so we'll go check that out in a moment Jose Cabrera this is cool yeah man look I'm actually staying right over here in that area of town which I'll show you the Airbnb I got a cheap one but it's nice and it's in a great neighborhood but here, let's check this out. You can see the view of Santiago. It's about an hour and 30 minutes south of the north coast, like where I live. I've driven through here on the bus a lot. This is actually my first time coming here to Santiago. I wanted to see a baseball game in the Dominican Republic because I figured it would be fun and crazy. So I figured why not check out the city and catch a game, right? There we go. Oh, there's the Telefitico. We might do that tomorrow morning. Go hit that Telefitico. If you notice, they go here and then here. They're out in the distance, guys. But yeah, look, so you got the mountains and then you've got the whole city of Santiago going all the way around this beautiful monument. This is really cool. Again, guys, it's free to hit the like button and subscribe. It is free. Gregorio Luperon. He's one of the most famous soldiers in the history of independence for the Dominican Republic. You know, they had to get in the independence twice from the Spaniards and the Haitians. And we know that now there's actually some issues with that, but we're not gonna talk about that here. I'm gonna try to stay away from politics on the channel as much as possible. Let's see what this is over here. And then we're gonna go walk up to the monument. Then we're gonna go down and check out the park. Ah, oh, there's Aguila's statue. We'll go down there in a moment too, because that's the game we're going to tonight. We're going to watch um, Aguilas against Escajito. So that's going to be fun, guys. Be my first time watching a game here in the DR. And if you guys know about the Dominican Republic, they are crazy, crazy about baseball, just like we are in the States. A lot of your favorite baseball players in the major leagues have all played here at some point. Doesn't matter if they're Dominican or not. Look at this, guys. This is really cool. I'm a history buff, so for me, monuments, stuff like that is really, really cool. I think I caught it. So you've got the bronze statues. I 
One thing I've noticed in just my first hour here is how much money the city has. Monument of the Heroes of Restoration was remodeled to its new new construction, the historical and cultural of the government. Senor Presidente de la República Dominicana, Leonel Fernandez Rea, inaugurated it 16th of August 2007 on the 140th or 44th anniversary of the re restoration of the Republic. That is cool. Sorry guys, my Spanish still isn't the best, but I'm learning. This is really nice. So Juan Pablo Duarte is the father of the country. That's cool. This is beautiful, guys. Where is, there's Griel Rojas. Abijo, 1810. This is gorgeous, guys. Freaking love history. Welcome to Santiago de Caballeros, guys. De los Caballeros. This is cool. What's up? So, before we head out of town and go to the beach on the north coast, we are going to go check out the Los Pepines neighborhood and go check out all of their amazing graffiti murals. If you guys know, that's something that I love here, something that I like to check out. I think murals are amazing, and I love the meanings and the stories that they have behind it. And this is supposed to be the spot here in Santiago. So, we're gonna walk about 15, 20 minutes and then we're gonna get there and show them to you. That's the big regional hospital here. Hospital Jose Maria Cabal. Oh, this is a nice neighborhood. That is one thing I've noticed, guys. Lots and lots of money here. Nice park. But they're struggling, so we're going to turn the camera off. And what's really cool about this area is it's not just for the heroes of the restoration or independence, but obviously, like I said, they love baseball here, right? So we're gonna check out the Plazoleta de Aguilas Sebenas, which is the name of the team here. They call them Sebenas because this is the state of Cibao. But check this out, these are like all the greats. This is the team we're going to watch tonight, guys. This is really cool. Like I said, if you love baseball, 
I've been told that this is one of the best experiences that you could ever have is to come watch a game here in the DR. And obviously the two greatest teams in Dominican history are Aguilas and Lise. Now, I almost grabbed my Lise hat and I knew they would be mad and they wouldn't let me in the stadium. So I have my DR hat today because we're in DR and we love the DR. But yeah, guys, this is Plazoleta de Aguilas Sebenas. Do you guys know who they are in the chat? Type it in the chat for me. Tell me who these guys are. I'll get a little closer to look for you. That way, you can tell me, because I don't know a lot about the history of this team. We got number 32, looks like a pitcher. 29, 25, 24. This guy doesn't have a number. 14, 10. 10, 9, 3, and 1, guys. This is really cool. Like I said, we're going to a game tonight. We're going to have a blast, and I'm going to take you with me. Again, make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Enjoy. And share this with your friends. We're in the DR, baby. Oh, here we go. Here's the names. So we've got Espinoza, Martinez, Javier, Pena, Javier, Pena again, Tavares, Fermin, Pena again, Linas, and Bellone. That is cool, guys. Like I said, you guys know I'm a sports fanatic. I love baseball. We're gonna go catch some baseball today. That's why I got away for the day, man. I just jumped on the bus. Caribe Tours is my go-to. I know there's other options like Metro, but I like Caribe Tours. So I paid 250 pesos, which is like four bucks to get down here. It took about two hours, two hours and a half because of the stops. And uh, now we're here in this beautiful city and it's landlocked here in the DR. We're gonna go explore. Centro Convention Center is right there. Oh, now I know what he was talking about. So my buddy Steve-O was telling me, right next to the monument, there's all the bars and restaurants. That's where people have a good time at night. And now it makes sense. That's right here. This whole row of bars and restaurants get popping on the, on the weekends. And I said, Saturday is the night. Saturday is the night, so we're gonna have a blast, guys. We're gonna have a blast. You got it wired in, oh, from this side, but you can get in over here. That's cool. Um, there's a cop right there. Chilling. All right, guys, so we had to get out of the heat for a little bit. Came over across the street from the monument where everybody hangs out at night. We came out here a little early to get a drink, and I got a mojito with chinola, which is something that's popular here. So we're going to try it. We're here at... El Peridon. We're gonna eat right now because we're gonna go meet up some friends. Fuerte. Oof. It's, it's bueno, but it's fuerte. Wow. That was good though. It's like maracuja? It's ma maracuya. In Colombia, mucho maracuja. Wow. Mucho, mucho, mucho. It's, it's a fruta de país. Yes, 
Ah, there they are. There's one. That's beautiful. Oh, that's really pretty. Trying to find more murals. That is why the power breaks down all the time. That is everywhere in the DR, guys. Huh. Number 40. Ah, huh. must. So it looks like we've made it, guys, to the Los Pepinas neighborhood. Dude, these murals are like raw, but amazing. <laughs> hey guys, it's my buddy uh, Wilfredo. He's my moto cancho for the for the, the time and he wants to tell you about his Instagram. Sí, ¿Qué sí, es tu Instagram? Este mi Instagram es WN Fitness. So you're a you're a trainer? Sí. Okay, so he's Venta a trainer. So if you come here to Santiago, you can contact him through that Instagram for supplementos y training. Entrenamiento. Sí? That's awesome. Huh, Che Guevara? That's awesome, dude. Perfect place for the music. So it's my birthday, guys. Happy birthday to me. Just murals everywhere, guys. This entire neighborhood is muraled up. That is really cool. I'm glad I came over here. This neighborhood has so much culture in it. So much awesome, like, paint. The paint jobs are amazing. Look at that. They just painted the house. 
some of the houses that are people are living in some of the houses that are abandoned they even painted the board the power um, poles that is cool guys even back here you can hear so much culture so much music people enjoying their Sunday drinking cerveza listening to music enjoying company it's awesome like I said man Range Rover Porsche Lambo trucks everywhere Mucho color. <laughs> This is the this is the best birthday I have ever had. Best birthday I've ever had right here. guys so ran into some great buddies had a good fun party at TGI Fridays now we're gonna head to the football stadium and watch some Aguilas baseball it's gonna be a lot of fun so far we're really enjoying Santiago we're having a lot of fun so now it's sorry guys after Columbia I'm always hesitant with the camera the cell phone But yeah, we're having a good time here. We've only been here a couple hours. Party done a bunch. And uh, tonight we're going to party too.
Guys, these are the neighborhoods that I love here in the Dominican Republic. Just local, nice art. Como esta, senor? I like the pintas. Pintas are muy bueno. Pintas. Muchos pintas. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. That's cool. Como estas? This is cool. Great way to cap off the trip. Alright guys, so we made it to the stadium, we got here. So we got a ticket for 500 pesos, that's like less than 10 bucks. So we're here at Aguila Sabenas. They've got 22 Dominican titles, six Caribbean titles, founded in 1933. We're gonna go have a freaking blast. People are starting to line up a couple hours ahead of time. That's the Aguila's flag, obviously Dominican flag. We got the vendors out. This is the stadium, guys. Estadio Cibao. Got the Eagles, because there are the Eagles. This is cool, guys. Guys, we're gonna have a fucking blast tonight. Just met up, had a couple drinks. Now we're getting ready for some baseball. Let's do it. All right, guys, so right now it's about 4.30. So we're about an hour and a half before game time. It's already starting to get packed. We've got the food vendors with the empanadas. We've got corn, the condensed milk for the drinks. We've got a baseball, a beautiful Dominican flag. Estadio Cibao, home of 22 national titles here. It's one of the two best teams and all of the Dominican Republic. So many of your favorite players have played here. And we're gonna go in and have a freaking blast, guys. This is Dominican baseball. Wow, that one's beautiful. It's a beautiful house. So, looks like they're putting all brand new apartments and mixing them in, which is kind of crazy. Buena. This is cool. This is the Los Papines neighborhood. Tell they're trying to gentrify it actually. Guys, they have actually have a subway in here. That's crazy. Arturo Pena. Fucking dominoes. Check out this stadium, guys. Oh, this 
This is a nice stadium. Gorgeous stadium. Okay, see you. Quince. Quince. That's bueno. Ah, perfecto. Gracias, señor. Tiene que darme algo. No, perfecto. Me da algo. Tiene que darme algo. Okay. Tiene que darme algo. Uh, I don't have any. Uh, momento, momento. Beautiful. I love how proud, how proud they are. to be Dominican. Oh, that's cool. Matias Ramon Mela. Governor of Santiago from 1816 to 1864. Wow, 50, almost 50 years. That's crazy. That's awesome. All right guys, so this stadium is actually really nice and the grass looks awesome. So tonight it's going to be Aguilas and Escogido, which is down in Santo Domingo. What's crazy is you go somewhere and you expect just to take a little video, just to beef up your video or to make your video a little bit better, and then you find more than you expected. Guys, this neighborhood, the Los Pepines neighborhood, was really cool, really cool. Lots of art, people just sitting at Colmados, enjoying cold beers, having a good time. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. They do an entire tour on Viator which I'm a partner of, but I chose to just come out here and do it myself. Beautiful park right there. And my tour of Los Pepinas has come to an end, guys. Make sure you like that video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you enjoy. This is Army Guy Travels.
the first time I've heard the national anthem here. That's cool. Yeah, baby. two strikeouts in the, to end the first inning. Not bad, not bad. Escojito has a bunch of former major leaguers like Juan Segura, um, Blake, um, Ramon Lariano from the Astros. I actually watched him come up through the minors, which is wild. So this is Parque Colon. Wow, this is nice. It looks like they're cutting down all the trees and trimming out everything. Beautiful church in the background. Who is this? Oh, they took the plaque down. Maybe Cristobal Colon? Oh, that's not that's freaking cool. Wait till you see this, guys. So this park is for Christopher Colon and the Taino Indians. That's cool, guys, look. Pretty much everyone here is Taino Indian, but they really don't have a system to know how much Indian or Taino is in each person. So they just, they're all Taino, you know? All right, so it looks like everybody's on Dominican time because everybody's here like second inning and it's starting to get busier, so that's cool. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be dead. Como estas? So we got Ramon Lariano, former Astro. Astro.
little change of plans, a little change of plans. So we had uh, a rainstorm last night, so we didn't get to go out, but we're gonna go show you a nice restaurant. But this is the little, it's a little tiny Airbnb with super comfortable bed. Sorry, it's messy, I didn't make it back up. I'm about to leave. And it's right on the main street right here. Ah, I gotta shut it. But for 20 bucks, clean, great AC, free Netflix, little tiny bathroom with the adjustment heater. So not bad, not bad. And it's actually in um, one of the nicest neighborhoods in the whole city of Santiago. Like I said, not a lot, but clean, safe, good AC, comfy bed, TV. So that's all you really need, right? And for a great price, guys. All right, guys, so only in the Dominican Republic are you gonna get a cold Presidente, and they have a cigar bar inside the stadium. That is beyond cool. There are dudes up there smoking cigars at the stadium. That is definitely Dominican, and that's awesome. That is cool, guys. Oh shit, that's Cleveland Indians. So the neighbor you the neighborhood you want to stay in is Gurabo. That's how you spell it right there. That is the neighborhood, all the nice apartments. And earlier when we were on the moto, you probably saw those big gated communities and big gated houses. That's this neighborhood right here. So this is definitely a spot you want to stay at. Double plays and the inning. guys so before I leave to go back to the coast I really wanted to do a uh, gracias I wanted to show you a couple of awesome restaurants that I I've heard about from people and I wanted to try so I decided to try scurry cafe so scurry cafe is actually um, in a parking lot for a gas station but it gets like 4.7 on Google so the, the, for, for Dominican Republic, because you have to remember, customer service is not normally great, which the customer service has been phenomenal so far here. So this is Scurry Cafe on 27 de Febrero, which is their, one of their um, 
famous days for the restoration. So uh, we're gonna check out this delicious cordon bleu with plantain. So uh, guys, if you like it, I'll put the description, um, put the location and their information in the description, and uh, we'll see if it's good. So it started to rain and I figured I would come up to the good spot right here. Like, right here. These guys are having fun. Sorry I look a little rough today. I had a migraine last night, you can tell by the eyes, but we're gonna work it out. So look, we got plantain. Obviously you know you're in the DR when they throw plantain with everything. So we have the cordon blue. With plantain. So that's gonna be cool. Alright, let's check it out. Alright, so I, I was really curious because I saw this on the menu. I actually wanted their linguine, but then I saw this and I'm like, yeah, plantains and um, cordon bleu, chicken cordon bleu. So let's check this out. Oh, I wanted frito. Oh, man. Is that bacon? Oh, well, let's try it. I was hoping it would be pollo frito. Ooh, that cheese is stringy. That's good. Yeah, this is really good actually. Like the video and try some delicious plantain. Ooh, it's goo, it's hot and gooey. Hmm, that's actually really good. Put a little sauce on it. Hmm, that's good. It's really good, actually. But yeah, it's really nice, guys. Look. So 
yeah guys, definitely check out Scurry Cafe. The flavor on this food is really good. I think I'm gonna get some coffee in a moment. Make sure you guys hit that like button.
seatbelt back on. Yeah.